I hope you guys aren't getting sick of, let me find some good light, sick of me looking like this and always talking about walking and not even, I don't know, I guess it's working out, but hopefully you don't get sick of me doing this. I, um, been doing this for, I don't know, an hour or two, I think. I gotta get my phone, gotta count every single step. <laughs> my phone is permanently attached to me now to count my steps. I don't think I have too many yet so far, um, and that's okay. 6,000, I like to hit 10,000 at least, but if I'm working out actively like this, I like to do at least 15, but I have like three hours until Ashley, two and a half hours until Ashley's home from school. So I'm trying to do like another half hour to an hour, then I'm gonna shower. I need to go get peanut butter. I forgot that at Costco yesterday. What day is it? Not yesterday. Yes, yesterday. It's a weird week when kids don't start, start school on Monday. Um, and I need hash browns because I have that leftover ham that we have not eaten and I really want to make funeral potatoes. Basically like hash brown potatoes. Sounds really good to me and I'm gonna not have any snacks or hopefully not any carbs today. And then um, have some of those potatoes tonight for dinner with the, the, pro, the ham. And then I'm gonna have some broccoli. So I need to go get that and then um, Ashley does not have therapy today. Her um, doctor has a vacation this week that he's taking, so she doesn't have therapy. But Abby has her acupuncture, um, so I had to pick her up from school early. Last week we were 45 minutes late because the bus system was just trying to catch up and get on their routes and stuff, so I don't want to miss their appointment. And then I have to hurry back home and have another curriculum night tonight with Ashley's class. Yesterday was Chelsea. I went to middle school. It's funny, I didn't film yesterday because I was busy ed busy editing all day, but I, I didn't want to have to shower after I walked yesterday just because I had to go to Costco and I had to run a whole bunch of errands. And so I just walked slow. I was fully dressed. I even had makeup on, my hair done. I just walked really, really slow. And I think I got to, I don't even know what it was, like maybe six or 7,000 steps. And then I went to Costco and I got like a thousand steps there and Target. And then I went to this curriculum night and you guys, I got all the rest of my miles. <laughs> got all of my steps in because her floors are like fifth floor, fourth floor, third floor, second floor. Like it was just like on an up and down the stairs. And so I got all the rest of my steps in. So I just barely hit 10,000 steps yesterday, which was perfect because it wasn't like a full like workout mode kind of a day. So I'm still glad I got my steps in. What I wanted to talk to you guys about was all of your comments from my video of doing my injections for the first time. Uh, let me turn off some fans here so you can hear me. There's some good light and you have a different different background. Normally I don't open this window because the sunshine can um, fade our couch and so I don't usually have this window open. But this is nice. I like the little background right here. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for all of your comments on the video of me doing my injections for the first time. Obviously that was kind of, you know, uh, humbling to do that on camera. A lot of you were like, I can't believe you're taking us on this journey with you. And part of me, I guess, is just stepping outside of my box because I could have used someone else to help me step outside that box. Does that make any sense? Like, I wish I had had someone else say, it's okay, you can do this. I have done it. And I actually have one friend. Um, she hasn't, I don't know if she's taken this medication, but maybe she's done, actually, I have a, a, well, now I know there's a lot of you. But before I even thought to do this process, I had one friend who has done this. Um, and not to the extent like I'm walking and working out and, and whatnot, but has taken the medication and kind of stopped taking it because they got sick and, you know, just didn't make them feel well all day. And that was the only person that I knew who was kind of going through this journey. And so if I can be that person for, I mean, so far there's like a dozen of you who are actively commenting, but that video got 200 views. Like so far as of today, actually it's going up more. And so if 200 people are connecting with that kind of stuff, like, oh, maybe I can reach one of you and help you go through this path because most of my people who watch and you can tell me if I'm wrong but my analytics tell me that you are in your mid to late 40s or older and you're going through this same thing this midlife to later life like our bodies change and we don't um, uh, have the same metabolism as we did in our 20s and our 30s and I you know I can relate to so many of you when you share with me your stories so that's why I guess I'm stepping outside of my box Honestly, like I don't even talk about this kind of stuff with my friends. <laughs> There's only a very select few of my personal friends that I talk to. In fact, one of them is a guy and I'm more comfortable talk to, talking to him than most of my girlfriends. And so, I don't know, maybe it's just a distance thing where I'm not seeing you guys at all. Like I've never met any of you. Maybe that's why it's easier to talk 
like I'm just talking to a camera, but then when I connect with you through comments and like see your support, that makes it worth doing. So like I was just talking to my neighbor, um, she's headed to Kauai, I'm so jealous. She's headed to Kauai in a few weeks and and she's like, oh, I gotta go walk. I gotta, you know, get out there and get my, you know, swimsuit body on. And, you know, and I said, yeah, I'm, you know, kind of going through this like whole workout routine thing. And she, she just said, you know, I, I went through this phase of, oh, I've got to be able to wear the bikini and all the cute swimsuits. And then, and she's like, screw this. I've had two kids and I have a belly pouch and I, I need to suck that in. I'm not putting a bikini on and I, my chest is bigger because I've nursed babies and they didn't go away. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna suck it in, cover it up, and be comfortable. Uh, no more of this like worrying about what people look like. Like her husband said to her, he's like, you know, everyone looks kind of like a little off at the beach. Like no one looks perfect. Like you'll find those like Instagrammers that are like, you know, bikini girls and they're off taking their little photos and stuff. We've seen them like a million times at the beach, but she's like, I no longer care what other people look like. I just care about how I feel. And that's exactly what my mentality is. I just care about how I feel and I know that lately I have felt better. I go to bed earlier. Like I opened a Coke last night. I literally took three sips and I was like, I don't, I don't want this anymore. Shocking. You guys, to just to keep chatting with you because I know you guys understand and can relate. The other day when Jason and I were out running errands, stopped for a drink and, um, and order a fries. I got halfway through the fries and I was like, Maybe it's this medication working, right? Like shutting down my appetite. And so I just kind of like gave it to him and like I didn't finish them. And then I got home and I still had like three fourths of my Coke. And I kind of just immediately got on the treadmill, which was I like stupid. Like why did I get a Coke if I knew I was coming home to work out, right? Like redundant. Like why would I, why would I do that to myself? But that Coke sat there the rest of the day and I dumped it out. So I literally drank that much of my Coke. So it's working, it's working. And I'm on my first day of my full dose of that medication, I hope Victoza, I think is what it's called. So far, I don't feel nauseous. Usually I get this little bit of a weird, I don't even know if I'm gonna call it a nauseous. I thought it was because I was on my period, but I get this like gurgle in my stomach and I'm like, mm, I gotta go to the bathroom. So that's mainly what I'm feeling. Um, and that's why I'm kind of trying to stay close to home <laughs> or know where I'm going. Ladies, I know you know. See, it, it's doing it right now. So I wouldn't even say it's like a nauseous feeling if anyone's kind of curious about it. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. I just feel like I got it. I got to head that way. Do you know what I mean? It's not not doable is what I'm trying to clarify. If that's all it's gonna take for me to be on a medication that's going to help me and curb my appetite, make me make better choices. Like because I wasn't eating all those other things, I was like, well, let's just fill my plate with fill my plate with veggies, add some fruit, have some cottage cheese, and I was full. And an hour later I had my artichoke and then I didn't eat again until like I don't even know, later on for dinner. I just wanted to give you an update. We'll keep going through our day today, but I do have all these other appointments and I am I gotta figure out how to time these appointments and not be away from home. <laughs> I did well for two hours yesterday at curriculum night, um, so I will say that, but this full dose might be a different story. Also, sorry if that's TMI, but if you are in your late 40s to an up, you know, and I know you know, and we're having this conversation and it's okay. We, we're not embarrassed about it. Back, I'm showered. I haven't worn this shirt in a long time. And I did something kind of funny. I was cleaning out some of my makeup supplies, my bathroom supplies. I, sh I guess I should have taken you along with me. I didn't really like do a deep clean or anything. I was just kind of going through bags. I was looking for something. And so I was going, going through our travel bags and I found something funny. And so here, let me show you. In one of our travel bags, I found a whole bunch of little fake tattoos. And so I just put one here on my ankle. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. The, the rest of the pack was like butterflies, but I love this little flower. Reminded me of Hawaii. So I'm kind of stalling. I have a half hour until Ashley is home and I'm not sure if she's coming with me to do this whole back and forth with Abby to acupuncture or not. She can stay here alone or she can go across the street to a friend's house because the other kids will be home from school right after. But kind of in a stalling period. I'm not like hungry hungry, but once I leave the house to take Abby, I'll be on the road 
for most of the rest of the evening. So I'm just trying to like decide if I should eat something even when I don't feel hungry, which I know is the medicine. And it's also the really good lunch or really good breakfast that I had. I had a pro protein drink for breakfast, a big shake. Um, so this is my third water today. So I'm kind of in a stalling period. So um, I don't want to get back on the treadmill. I don't get all hot and sweaty again. I've done 6,000 steps total so far today. 7,000, 7,000, pretty good. Kind of holding out, trying to decide what to do. Okay, I decided on some fruit and some cottage cheese to kind of tie me over and I'm just working on a few things here. All right, Ashley is home now. We're gonna head out and go to the dollar store really quick. And then we're gonna pick Abby up from school, grab her a bite to eat and then head to her acupuncture appointment. Ashley wanted to play with a friend today, but I think she stayed out after school care today, right? So a lot of our friends' parents, they all work from home <laughs> or work away from home. The kids do after school care. So she's gonna tag along with me. Um, did you bring money to burn at the dollar store? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just get candy. Too bad they don't have Squishmallows. So yeah, she'll probably just get candy, but you're buying it and not you're not eating it all. I just have my water. I've not had caffeine yet today. It's three o'clock, so I'm doing pretty good. I might need one later. We'll see, we'll see what my appetite does, see what they have at the dollar store. All right, we're gonna test something when we get there. My key fob is showing that I'm out of battery. So Ashley's got my key fob, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got a backup one in my purse. Yesterday, the light went on for this battery and I keep forgetting to take it in and try and figure out how to change the battery. I know I've done it before and I just keep forgetting to do it. And I only remember when I'm out and about. So yesterday I was in a rush. So I just grabbed our backup battery or our backup key fob, but I need to make sure this one has full battery. So I need to get that one out of the car and make and like away from the car and make sure that this one will still work. Cause I can't, I, have, I still haven't figured out how to, I know I can get access to the car. I can do a little lever here. Let me show you. If you just click this little lever so I can get into the car, that will get me into the car, but it will not start cause I don't have key start. So I gotta figure out how to change the battery. It's in here somewhere. I just don't know how to like release it to change it. All right, she's gonna get out of the car and I'm gonna turn, so she has that key fob. I have this one. So I'm gonna turn on my car with this one in the car and hopefully, I guess we still have like this little, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Okay, so this one, ignore that. We have like a, I don't even know system problem, but this seems to work because that air is not coming back on. Okay, come back in. So now I'm curious. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm curious what happens when you come in the car with that. I, okay, this one dominates now. Yeah. This one is fine. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to actually switch them out when we get home so that it doesn't become a problem while we figure out how to get and that one fixed. And hopefully we don't get, that doesn't die. I know, we'll right? Get stuck <laughs> she was like, mom, we're not getting stuck without getting food and being stuck in downtown again. <laughs> Cause that's where Abby's appointment is. No. is you know, and city we're over. Gonna get one. <laughs> and I was like, well, it'd be easier um, for grandpa to help us fix with the dead battery in my key fob versus this flat tire. But <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want to have to do that. So let's, we have 20 minutes. See what damage we can do it at the dollar store. I need just a few things. I don't need anything. She wanted to come and I wanted to get one or two things and we needed to kill just a little bit of time. All right, I've got a little package of pads for Chelsea's little backup kit for school, just in case she hasn't started yet, but we'll just do that. And then I found a movie, The Best of Me. And then I've got some uh, face, face wipes. Um, I keep a pack in the car and I need some cotton balls for my shots that I'm doing. And then Ashley is getting herself a little Lilo and Stitch chapstick for her and her friend and some candy. But you're paying for that, correct? Yeah. We're waiting for Abby to go into her appointment and then we have to wait for an hour, right? Yeah. And you're just hanging out on the car? It's burning hot. It is hot. Well, it's nice here in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. But inside the car. Inside, well, I don't know. It's not too bad in the, in the shade. Because you also, and you're just bored. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have Wi-Fi in your iPad. I didn't bring my iPad. Oh, you didn't even bring it? Yeah, because there's no Wi-Fi. So we're just sitting here hanging out, waiting for her to go into her appointment. And we just got here way early, um, but we didn't want to be late again. So I need to go in in like a few minutes, right, Abby? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything. Yeah,
been at home for literally 20 minutes and uh What's this I don't it's been another too long I it, it's been thrown away I need to clean out the fridge yes. uh, yeah it, I don't even know what it is um but I finished or not finished I kept watching this here at home for a few more minutes but I have to go now to Ashley's curriculum night Jason just barely walked in I'll see him for literally 30 seconds and I have to go I say hi hey I need to get some water out of there real quick What's this? He's trying to find mystery food in the fridge. Oh, those are what, what do we have? Potatoes. There's, oh, um, save the Well, you can have some ham, but we're just going to have it again tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you know. All right. But I'll make better potatoes to go with it for tomorrow night. So, you had a good day at work? It was good. good. It was just basically slower, but it's good. Got stuff done. The, um, our new employees are helping him clean and decorate the store. And I'm like, how yeah, she does a great job. She's, yeah, she does a really, really good job. She's updated and brought us into a nicer, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I sent him with those plants, he was like, um, he wanted to get like two or three, and I was like, no, you have two full shelving units that are like six feet tall, and he was like, yeah, I mean, this is good. And I was like, nope, you're gonna get six of them, three for each side, and then give it to Samantha, and just tell her to do her oh, thing. Oh yeah, she worked for magic. Of course. Yogurt and what is this? A little protein. Collagen. I gotta oh, up my protein. I think that and some ham. I think that's a lot of protein. Yeah, I'm just not eating enough protein. I need the greens too. I have a salad for. Good idea. Okay, I'm off. I gotta go. I'm gonna end my night here. A little bit of a short video or day for you guys just because I've had all these appointments. See if the light's better. Nope, not much. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on little side streets for a second so I can chat with you guys. I was just talking to Ashley. It's one of Ashley's cheer coaches that's just on the cheer squad. She's not her actual coach. She teaches the older girls, older than Ashley, but it was just interesting to talk to her um, about how good this cheerleading been for her daughter who's a year older than Ashley and, and how good it is for them to make friends and work through anxiety and separation from mom and all these things. And it's just so cute to like see that not only are we doing well with Ashley doing cheer but like her as a mom and her as a coach um, it's so important to find these little venues for our little kiddos and that's really fun but it was also interesting to go to curriculum night <laughs> and you can tell it's no fault of their own but you can tell the parents who like this is their oldest kid going into fourth grade their first video and all the questions that they ask and like our teacher or Ashley's teacher hang on one second little four-way stop there um, Ashley's teacher is new to our school in our district for the first time. Um, she's been in other districts and has taken time to raise her own kids. And so she didn't even have the answers. And I was like, oh, the answer. Oh, this is the answer. Oh, this is the answer. <laughs> and I was like, I don't mean to answer all your questions. I just, this is not my first radio. I have my fourth kid. And we've been in the district for, you know, I don't even know, 12 years now. And so everyone's like, okay, Dana, can you answer this question for me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can answer that one for you. But you can tell what parents like are not new to this and what ones are and that it, the teacher was like, I think you need to, she's like, you need to sign up be one of my classroom moms. <laughs> and I was like, I won't be the classroom mom. I don't like that position, but I will definitely come in and volunteer this year. They're allowing volunteers. They're allowing field trips. They haven't scheduled any of that stuff yet, but it's fun to like have a whole year of like normal 
school year, which is kind of fun for these kiddos. The only thing that they have held on to, which I'm frustrated about, is that they're still assigning seats at lunch, and Ashley is not happy about that. I can tell she's still not happy about lunch. She hasn't specifically said that reason, but it was a huge reason last year that she was frustrated. So that was one of my questions. I was like, if you can pull any, you know, say in like making that change within our school or within their lunch, do. Because these kids need to have some freedom now that we don't have to space them up out, now that we don't need to like keep them apart and all that kind of stuff because of COVID, that needs to change because these kids need to socialize. They need to let out their stress. They need to like, ha anyway, have conversations with their friends. Yes, they need to eat their lunch, but they need to have some freedom. It's the only thing that I, I and that seems dumb to like be worried about for a school. Like I'm not worried about academics. I'm not worried about testing. I'm not worried about no homework. Like they were like, what, no homework? And I'm like, you guys, it's been this way for seven years. It's fine. <laughs> They're fourth grade, they don't need homework. Like one of their topics in school is SEL, social and emotional learning. And it's, you know, they need that time during lunch to do just that. They need to socialize, they need to be emotional, they need to, you know, learn from their peers. Anyway. It's a long night. And I have to do it all over again for high schoolers tomorrow night. So I don't even know if I'm gonna film tomorrow because I don't know. It's like I have to gear myself up all day. And I don't even think I can hit my steps tonight. I don't kind of bummed. Let me see. I'll quickly check here. I'm out of light. I've only done 8,500 steps, which I should have some grace for myself because it was a long day. And I did sit in the car for like an hour and a half waiting for Abby. We got there like 20 minutes early. Is that any better? Um, so we waited and I wasn't able to walk then. It wasn't, we weren't, you know, at home and I had Ashley with me. But I have some grace for myself because I am not in the mood to go get on the treadmill tonight. I will end this with you guys. I hope you um, are having a good week. Oh, I got a light. But yeah, I think that's it. I have an idea for a video coming up. Um, I'm not gonna have you put it here, but think of questions you want asked. Jason and I, we're gonna do a Q&A just because I think there's a lot of new people here. And so I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, but I don't have people following me on Instagram. That's usually where people put questions for that kind of stuff. So I will talk about it in another video, but think of your questions that you have for Jason and I. Um, you know, we've done like things on how we met and stuff, but I don't mind doing it again because like I said, there's a lot of new people here think of your questions save them and wait for that video and then I want to get all those questions in one video and we can film one and you have you guys get to know us take care and good luck to you if you still have kiddo kiddos in school or if maybe you have grandkids in school and you're helping them after school like kudos to you maybe I'll do that someday but hope I've been a help for you guys you guys are a help for me I will talk to you guys later the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you